Everyone has seen the infamous scene from Batman the Killing Joke that sees Batman and Batgirl rip off their costumes and have sex on a rooftop. So let's first start off by saying that this video is not about the Killing Joke at all. This video is about a story arc in the comic book Batman Beyond 2.0 that sees Batman get Batgirl pregnant. A few things have to be made clear before a detailed story. In the TV series Batman Beyond, it was established that Batman and Batgirl dated one another. I chose to stay behind with Bruce as his partner. His girlfriend? Whoa. This was expanded upon in the comics and takes place just after the Joker has abducted and tortured Tim Drake, the third Robin. <laughs> A bird in the hand. The Joker had taken Tim Drake and through torture and serums brainwashed him into thinking that he was the Joker's son. Though Batgirl and Batman were able to rescue Tim Drake and help him break free of his programming, though it was a rough and brutal process. He had a trusted friend, Dr. Leslie Tompkins. It took her a year, but she was able to help Tim back to sanity. Still, things were never really the same. After this abducting and during Tim Drake's healing, Nightwing returns to Gotham City, having only just learned what has happened to Tim Drake. The shock of the incident has made him want to be closer to the ones he cares about, which includes the other members of the Bat family of course, but mainly centres around Barbara Gordon. They pick up where they have left off in their relationship and things develop quickly, so quickly that Dick Grayson soon goes shopping for an engagement ring and is planning to propose to her, even going so far as to talk about it with the Flash. Everything is going great. And is of course at this point that Barbara finds out that she's seven weeks pregnant, which also seems to be great as things are going brilliantly with Dick. But he's only been back three weeks and she reveals to Batman that the kid is his. She wants to tell Dick herself and for Batman to stay out of it and he agrees to do that. However, for God knows what reason, Batman decides to go back on his promise and talks to Dick. He reveals that he and Batgirl were dating and Dick wants to know how long because Batman knows about their attraction to one another and their previous flings and has known since Dick was in college. And quite frankly, he wants to know why the hell his adopted father would want to sleep with his ex because it does seem a little incestuous. Even though there is no blood relation to any of these ones in the Bat family, it's still weird. And the two come to blows over it, which quite frankly is very understandable, I'm completely on Dick's side here. Meanwhile, across town, Barbara is on the bus, losing her mind with worry with the stress of all this, and doesn't know how to tell Dick that his adopted father is the father of her child. It is still quite understandably messed up, and something hard to tell the love of your life. Then Barbara sees some muggers, and decides to blow off some steam and stop some criminals. She does this in her civilian clothes, as she's retired officially as Batgirl, and no longer has the costume, though she does cover her face. Presumably the two criminals that she fights are ones that Batman would actually be stopping himself if he hadn't broken his promise and gone to talk to Dick. But this turns out to be a terrible move as Batgirl takes a hit to the gut and miscarries the baby. After this it all falls apart and Bruce, Dick and Barbara all go their separate ways and barely talk to one another over the next few decades. And Barbara herself moves on and meets a man in the DA's department named Sam who she eventually goes on to marry. And that is the story of how Batman got Batgirl pregnant. It's quite a WTF moment, and it seems very out of character for Batman, to be honest. Though, I have to admit, it is one hell of an ending to the Bat family. But, all in all, I think it's one of those comics which has such a bizarre and intriguing idea that you want to read it, but at the same time, it should never have been done. Kind of like watching a car crash. You can't help but watch it happen, but you'd rather it didn't happen. And this really should not have been done by DC, and should have instead just been a piece of fan fiction. But what are your thoughts on the story? Do you think this is as messed up as I do? Or do you actually quite like the plotline? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd like to say a thank you to all of those who have donated to Needlemouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that allows fans to donate to creators in exchange for rewards, and is helping me to make more videos. If you would like to learn more, then there is a link in the video description. And as always, thank you for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.